morning moments. I'm so glad that you took the time to join us today. Whatever platform, and actually whenever you're watching this, and I'm so glad that that you joined us today. Today I have uh, from Branson, a uh, award-winning musician. He's been guitarist of the year several times, uh, uh, teacher, educator, musician, uh, and he's been in, uh, in the music industry since 1977, he was telling me. And uh, it's my privilege to bring uh, Mike McAdoo to, to Morning Moments. Welcome, Mike. Morning. Good to see you, Andy. But tell us, what do you do and why do you do it? Yeah, well, my mother was a piano player. So about the time I was getting ready to turn 10 years old, my mother comes in one day and said, would you like to take guitar lessons? And of course, like any any kid, nine or 10, says, sure, I want to take guitar lessons. I liked guitar from the, the very first lesson. So after the first lesson, I was pretty much hooked. Uh, and I was, uh, I took lessons for six years on guitar. And uh, besides having my, my teachers that started me in my hometown of Elk City, Oklahoma, um, I've had some uh, really, really good instructors along the way. There's a uh, guitarist, a Christian guitarist named Doyle Dykes, that he's fantastic. And when I was about 14, my mother took me to a music school. It was a summertime deal called the Stamps Blackwood School of Music in Waxahachie, Texas. And so I did that for two summers. Doyle happened to be the uh, guitar instructor the first year. And he taught me the Chet Atkins style of playing. And uh, of course, I've kept in touch with Doyle uh, through the years, just recently, as a matter of fact, he he goes all over the world playing guitar, and uh, you know he's a Christian guy, and uh, you know he witnesses for the Lord and does a great job of guitar playing, and just a, a great example for for everyone, especially musicians and guitarists. So I studied with him for a while, uh, just that one part of that one summer, and then uh, later on I had a uh, guitar instructor out of Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City was about, uh, I don't know, hour and 45 minutes from my hometown of Elk City. And his name was Julian Aiken. Well, Julian taught uh, not only me, but he, he was a jazz instructor. He taught Vince Gill, and he also taught the uh, guitarist with the uh, Restless Heart, Greg Jennings. So I was real blessed to be able to have some good instructors. Uh, later on, I became a guitar teacher. And uh, I started playing professionally in 1977. Uh, so I've done that plus teach guitar, record, play. Uh, I also have taught, I taught one year in a high school in Texas, the guitar program. And then uh, we moved to uh, Branson, my wife and I, in 1986. As a matter of fact, two days from now, November 3rd, it'll be our 38th wedding anniversary. So uh, I'm going to tell my wife about that. <laughs> so uh, we, after we moved to Branson in 86, we've actually moved away a couple of times, but we've been back. Branson is like a magnet, keeps drawing me back. So uh, we've been back 15 years now. And uh, part of that time, I, I taught five years at Evangel College, the guitar program in Springfield. It's a Christian college. And uh, that was a, a great experience for me. But uh, since 86, on and off, I've been in these shows. Um, a couple of years back when COVID hit, I took early retirement, but I still play play some on the side, and I'll talk about that a little bit too here in a minute. But in 86, we moved here, and I played with uh, some groups. I played with Shoji Dibuchi for a couple of years. Um, most of the 90s, 1990s, I played lead guitar for the Osmonds, and uh, they had theater here in town. It, it's where, if, if you're from, Familiar with Branson is where Clay Cooper is now, but the Osmond Theater was there, and I played guitar for them most of the 90s, and uh, we had moved to uh, Wichita Falls, Texas for about nine years, and I taught music there at a music store, and then I played on the side. After we moved back, like I said, we've been back about 15 years, but uh, on the road, I played four years. Uh, I guess it was uh, about... 10, 12 years ago, four years on the road with a group called the Texas Tenors. And uh, they were on America's Got Talent. They were in the finals. I believe they came in fourth in 2009, but they, they still go. And uh, the road life got a little tough. So I, 
I decided I didn't want to do that the rest of my life. So, uh, but Branson is a good place because people come to see the in entertainers and musicians here, as opposed to us having to to go out on the road, you know. So we let them do the work, and then we entertain them here. <laughs> hey, go <laughs> back home. Try to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> So that, that's why Branson can get by with doing the same show every day for a year, and then they change it up a little bit the next year. But, you know, they have a different crowd uh, about every time. I mean, we have some diehard fans that stay with us and see us multiple shows. But uh, um, as of late, in the last five or six years, I play at a place called the Branson Craft Mall, which is owned by two musicians, a husband and wife, uh, Mark and Kathy Pierman. Mark Pierman plays fiddle for the Presley show here in town. Well, they own the Branson Craft Mall and in the back of the venue, they have a cafe called the Pick and Porch Grill with a big stage. And we have what we call the Pick and Porch, Kathy and the Pick and Porch Band. And we play three nights a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday evenings from five to 6.30. And in fact, I'll play this evening. Uh, the food is really good there. And uh, the Lord has really blessed me with different, uh, different things, you know, recordings and, and playing with live, you know, bands and, and uh, not that, not just because I've played with some famous artists, but just the fact of uh, that I've been able to play music for this many years professionally, you know, 45 years of playing professionally. And I've always been thankful for that. And the Lord has blessed me and my, my music. And there's been a lot of cool things happen, but, you know, it, Music business is a tough business, but uh, I'll try to keep a good attitude about it and, uh, you know, blessing other people's lives with my guitar picking is, uh, is a blessing to me, too, as well. So uh, I get a kick out of that. Yeah, yeah uh, even though, you know, we don't travel as much anymore, you know, I've still traveled a lot and uh, being, I hope and I pray that I'm an example to uh, other people, especially young people, because uh, I know that's a very important thing. Uh, I've probably taught, and, and try not to exaggerate here, but individual students, of course, I had classes in college and a uh, class uh, when I taught high school, but probably individually, I've probably taught 500 uh, individual people, and most of those are kids, you know, uh, but there's a few adults that take lessons as well, but uh, you know, I, I've tried to be an example for them, and I, I pray that I have been. I'm not saying I've been perfect, but of course, no one is. But you know, yeah. When I'm teaching guitar, I tell them that you know, I say now most of you won't become professionals. You know, a few of you will, but I, I said that the most important thing about music is if you can enjoy it. You know, there's plenty of students out there that just kind of kind of play and sit around the house and play for their family or whatever around the campfire. And I just say, if you enjoy your music, you know, that, that's the main thing because, uh, you know, the, the music business is kind of, kind of tough sometimes, you know, uh, keeping a gig and, you know, but uh, yeah, it, like I said, the, the music business has really been a blessing for me. I, I can't complain. Uh, there's been a few downs, but it's mainly been all up, you know, for me. And I'm, I'm so, thankful to God for uh, what I've been able to do. That, uh, and, and there's a couple of cool things coming out. Um, there's a series of uh, books, and this company has been around for 80 years. It's called the Mel Bay Company, and they, yeah. they teach all sorts of instructional yeah. stuff. Well, I signed a deal with them in January of this year to uh, have my own book put out. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, that probably won't happen until I'm actually getting the songs ready now that probably won't happen until middle of next year but uh that's been a real blessing just to be able to uh you know have my my guitar style put out there and uh, you know hopefully i'll, I'll make uh, a dollar or two on that but i'm not concerned about the money <laughs> you know i was thinking of uh, the 500 plus people that uh, that you've uh, trained and helped out I wonder how many of those also have taken their music, maybe not professionally, but at least they've taken it to worship and playing worship in churches. And uh, it's amazing uh, how you could take that and uh, have that backup 
uh, guitarist and musician in churches is so important to the style of worship that takes place today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Evangel College is not known as a uh, guitar program, but they're they're known as a Christian school, and, and of course the ones that took from me have already probably already started playing in their church, but that's what they want to do. They want to be worship ministers with their guitar. So that meant a lot to me to try to, to help them get better on their instrument. And then after they graduated, hopefully they can, well, some of them already did, that they went on to, to find churches and, uh, and, and were able to still be music ministers. And, and that's, a, that's a very important thing. It really is, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. You don't have to be a professional whatever, but, but maybe your purpose, your plan, your future, maybe it's just taking your music to nursing homes or maybe taking your music to, to share uh, and, and draw people in and just listen, uh, you know, the, the coffee houses. Uh, but uh, there's, a, yeah. there's a lot of places for you if you're looking around, right? That's a, that's a good point. There's a lot of folks around here that don't play on shows. Some of the older folks that maybe have talent that don't play on the shows anymore, but they go to the nursing homes and those folks really, really enjoy that. You know, they, they get such a kick out of, and they get to where they expect it once a week or whatever, because they just love, you know, it's hard to find somebody that doesn't love music for one thing, yeah. you know? So uh, playing for nursing homes and, and playing just whatever, you know, that, that's the main thing. You know, like I say, most of them won't become professionals. I've had a few that have been professional musicians and, uh, it's a pretty cool thing, but if you just enjoy it and other folks can get a blessing out of what you do, that's, that's really important, I think. Absolutely. Because, you know, I've had folks, uh, and not just in the music business, you know, we'll have folks come up after we play and they'll say, boy, I wish I was up there with you on stage. And my answer to that is, uh, you know, we can't all be up here. I said, you have your own talents, whatever that is. I said, uh, you know, a few of us can be up here on stage. My talent is playing guitar, and you may have a complete different talent. And the Lord has blessed you in, in your way, and he's blessed me in my way, too. So that's kind of the way I look at it. So find out what your passion is. I like what, that. What has God given you your passion? It could be, it could be music, but it could be uh, other talents, crafts, uh, or, or it could be many different things. Find that. Seek God and ask God, God, help me to know my purpose. And he won't, he won't hide that from you. He wants you to know that. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he, if you uh, just, you know, seek God, he will let you know what your purpose is. You know, and a lot of times you learn that early in your life, which I was blessed to learn early in my life. And sometimes folks learn that later in life with their, with their uh, path should be in their passion. But the, yeah, I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. It is my privilege to be able to to have somebody th that's uh, in your caliber in your industry to be able to be on my show. I, I really appreciate you coming, and uh, I want I want everybody as you as you in in this interview listening to it, I want you to take time and pray for Mike. Pray that God would continue to put him in the right place at the right time, give him strength to do what God wants for him to do. And I want you to, to spend some time right now praying for Mike. Mike needs your prayers and you need the practice, folks. So pray that God would bless Mike. Thank you, Mike, for being on Morning Moments. Thank you, Andy. I sure appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for joining me. And if you would, please come keep coming back for some more Morning Moments.